He may not see another weekend like this for months, Kevin, yeah, unless you, I'm wrong. Alan, I don't know. I Yeah, I hope you're wrong, but <laughs> it's definitely going to be colder next weekend, despite no big storms, but this weekend is going to be just superb. Rain up the eastern seaboard here. We're dry in the northern plains. One system for California. Not much happening here, and it won't. No measurable precip between now and the end of next week. That, again, means really good travel weather here across our area of the country. M and meanwhile, uh, here for this Friday evening, temps in the upper third to the low 40s here. Not bad at all because the wind is not strong. In fact, light in Sydney and in Glasgow. West wind elsewhere around five miles per hour. So it has been nice here. High pressure moving through again, the center of the high where the wind is light. Tomorrow, it gets a little bit farther to the east in Minnesota, allowing for a little bit more of a south breeze. We're talking a little here, only 5 to 10 miles per hour. So a delightful day. Southwest wind early on, but again, only 5 to 10. Not going to be a windy day at all. Mild conditions, widespread low to mid 50s to be expected. Now for tonight, uh, fairly mild. Yes, below freezing, but we're going to be in the mid to upper 20s for most areas here under a mostly clear sky. A few clouds here and there, not much, but for tomorrow, again, low to mid 50s. Great weather here. Hard to believe second half of November and uh, way warmer than last year because, again, we just don't have any snow on the ground, allowing for these above normal temperatures. All that October snow has melted away. And again, light winds for tomorrow, making it really nice. So cool to start, of course, this time of year. We expect that with the added that night versus daytime or day light. We are looking for lows, though, uh, not terribly cold in the mid to upper 20s, light wind around 5 to 10, and highs low to mid 50s for tomorrow. A lot of afternoon sunshine. For Bowman, 28 degrees tonight, rugby at 25. Again, most of us in the 50s, caught a few pockets in the 40s here, like in rugby, with a high expected at 46. Now, second half of the weekend, again, upper 40s, right around 50 degrees for most of us. Slight bit more breeze. I'm talking slight. Only a, maybe a southeast around 10, possibly 15 miles per hour, but really faring quite nice. So we will definitely enjoy the next couple of days here. Again, falling on the weekend, uh, a lot of sunshine, but then we begin to see a bit of a pattern shift on the way. Not that we're tapping into a lot of moisture, but by Monday and Tuesday, windy weather. Northwest winds 20 to 40 miles per hour, both Monday and Tuesday. Look at our temperatures and what happens here. We go from the 40s on Monday, near freezing Tuesday, busy travel day Wednesday. Gets even colder here. Still blustery wind chills in the teens all day with highs in the upper 20s. Thanksgiving Day won't be as windy. A chance for a few snow showers, though. Also on Friday, little event accumulation. I know it's a week away, but the trend is definitely set for the temperature. Questionable if we get any snow flurries, but still, it just looks pretty good for travel all in all. So people hope that they can get there and then get home. I think so, yeah. This year, completely different than last, which yeah. was more tricky. <laughs> definitely. <Yeah>. Thank you. <laughs>